So last time you were here, I may have said we were done. I would call this project finished. I think we thought we were, and none of us thought we would be spending so much time at home with our three kids who were bored in their beautiful backyard, poor kids. So we decided, I think we need to put in a pool. And given that we always said this was our cottage, we don't have a cottage, it was fitting to have a pool in that big back area where we just had a big patch of grass. Surprisingly, my husband who loved his grass decided he didn't want to take care of it anymore. So now he gets to take care of a pool. I think the hardest thing to do when you're a designer is lay out your own space. And it really was no different with this pool. The back area lended itself to it being centered and very symmetrical, but we needed to have some sort of cabana, somewhere to house the pool equipment. I wanted to have a change room. I also really wanted something architecturally interesting and beautiful to anchor everything. So we decided to go with two cabanas and join them with a pergola that ties into our original design because we have a pergola over our dining area. The change room is really sweet, gave me an opportunity to decorate, and it has storage for the kids' towels and their toys, and when their friends come over, they can go in and change without having to go into the house. The only thing it doesn't have is a bathroom, but we're thinking maybe in future we might figure that out. The design for the cabanas was in my head for a really long time. I've always loved wood siding. A little bit warm, so again, we're not cold back here. And then top them off with a metal roof that ties into the house. The house was a red brick, and we knew that had to change. We planned to paint it white for a long time, so this was the catalyst to doing that. The white trim on the cabanas ties into the new white house really well, and I think we have achieved that sort of modern Hamptons look that we were going for. Everything we did before works really well with what we've done now. The hot tub actually gets more use than it ever did because you go into the pool and then you want to warm up and you hop into the hot tub. So we're using it so much and really loving it. We did move around the furniture again, which was fun to change things up. We brought our sectional down next to the pool where we have a lot of impromptu lunches. We took our favorite chairs that used to be around the fire pit and we made a nice grouping up in the upper patio. And now we've got a modern Muskoka chair around the fire pit. So it really is our cottage and we spend so much time back here. So my brilliant idea to make my IKEA indoor dining table an outdoor table by painting it with marine paint kind of didn't work out. <laughs> it all started to kind of fall apart but it looked great for a few years, so we did have to upgrade that to an actual outdoor table. So you have to have a good balance between hard scaping and soft scaping. My husband and I love to garden, so we kept a lot of the gardens we already had across the back with our big oak trees that we planted. We kept our side garden with our big oak leaf hydrangeas, and we stuck with our color palette, which isn't a lot of color. It's white and green and a little hits of purple, but that's really enough for us. My favorite thing probably in the backyard now are the hanging chairs. We had sat in these exact chairs at a resort we went to in Mexico and we thought we got to have those. So we did splurge, but it's kind of our fun little element. We didn't do a hammock. This is our hammock and I spent a lot of time sitting there with a book. We did poured concrete as our patios and we really love that look. It's low maintenance. It looks like limestone. And we really wanted to carry that through to the pool area. Unfortunately, poured concrete is also very expensive. So we were very happy to find these large pavers. We were amazed at how much they actually match the concrete. You would not know that they're not the same. Going along with that cottagey theme, we thought how fun would it look to have almost like a dock leading to the pool. So we decided to use this thermary ash and it really nicely warms up the concrete pavers and leads your eye right to the pool in a very modern but warm way. This is a prime example of you can have beautiful outdoor spaces. It can't necessarily all be done at once. We did ours in phases. That was more realistic for us. I think the price tag sometimes can be scary, but there are ways that you can do what you want to do if you plan well and you research your materials and you're not in a rush. I'm not gonna lie, choosing the pool over doing the kitchen, it was a hard choice. 
but I really did it for our family. My kids will get so much use out of this. Now is the time to do it. The kitchen can wait. I don't regret it for a second.